excited. Do you know what color you're gonna do? Kind of. The branches, yeah. purple. That's cool. And yeah, you can pick out, I'll pull up the colors. Um, do you want to fill it, Zade? It has like a foam inside. Uncomfortable. Yeah, you gotta keep that head straight, sis. <laughs> Something needs to look at. Like, I don't want you to. Is it your ponytail that's bugging you? Mm -hmm. Okay. How's that? That's good. That's good? Okay. I'm getting her all straightened up. Maybe a bit looser. It's a bit tight on this one. Do a little like quarter turn there. Okay. I'm just gonna do like an ever slow, slight push on this one. Okay, all done. Um, that seemed much more simple <laughs> than I thought it would be. Like, but she was taking down a lot of measurements and stuff. But it's like kind of just a guesstimate. Like they just are kind of like trying to push it a little bit. Like very interesting. I've never seen anything like that. So hopefully it works and helps. And we're coming back in three weeks to get them fitted. They're just, they only wear them at night when they're sleeping. And it just kind of holds and pushes the back straight while they're sleeping and growing. So they said it's sufficient. Should definitely help her and it might help Zade. We're gonna take that maybe because I just wanna make sure he doesn't get worse. I do think that it will prevent him from getting worse. So that if, they, if that's even all it does, then I feel like we've done good. Because if he can avoid back surgery, that's the goal. So today wasn't a very long appointment. It's only 9.46. You want to drive home? It was only a 45-minute appointment. She said the next one for the fitting can take up to three hours. Since there's two of them. So like an hour and a half for each. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. It's not lunchtime, it's breakfast time. Really? Oh, yeah. Let's just go home. I feel like we Why were out all day yesterday. Well, let's when you get home, brunch. you can eat. Yeah, let's have a brunch. Turn on the car. I want to get home. You have ball rope too. Let's go home. There, there's we a, have way, way listen, more Listen, the fridge time is bursting at the seams with food. And the bags of food that we can't eat. No, tons and tons of food. I can make you guys eggs and waffles, okay? Okay, Ambry just beat me at a game of life and the loser was supposed to clean out the fridge but she was sweet enough to try to clean it out with me but I ran outside and would you know what I found? Eggs, six eggs. Wow. <laughs> I'm like trying to clean out the fridge and I just have more stuff to put in the fridge so it's fine. Also while we were out there, three humongous black military helicopters, which they fly around here a lot because we're by a military base, but they flew right over and Frank was so excited. <laughs> he just kept yelling, mama, and he was pointing at him the whole time and they weren't very high up. I think they could see him. I'm like, I hope whoever's driving that realizes how cute he is. He's in the middle of the yard, just like chubby little baby finger pointing out, just screaming the whole time they were up there. He was so happy, so that was cool. Um, that's it. I'm just gonna, this is the quote of Zade from today. Mom, all we have in the fridge is condiments. He's not wrong. <laughs> it's like every condiment ever made and it fills up the whole fridge. He's and right. so, like, we also have this green chef meal that I'm gonna make. Um, I think I'm gonna make that up for dinner, but other than that, it's just condiments. <laughs> What did you just do? Nah. Did you dump this on the floor? Why did you do that? Nah. That makes a mess. That's no, no. Frank, don't do that again, okay? I have a feeling that you're gonna do it again. Well, time to mop the floor. The fridge is looking better. I figured out why. It seemed like we only had condiments because we did only have condiments. 
The kids just kept opening. If they like look in there and couldn't see ketchup, they just go get another ketchup. We had four large ketchups in there. I was able to combine three of them into like the four of them turned into two full ones. So there was four that were half gone. <laughs> we had six mayos. Um, six, six mayos, that's true. I don't even know how that happens. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So we have two squeezies, a little bit left in this, and then a giant Costco one over there. And this whole drawer is like snacking cheeses and lunch meat, the citrus stuff, vegetables, and then I have my meals. So I have three meals I'm gonna be able to make from the Green Chef, which are fantastic. And then most of the stuff's already in there. Now, so I mean, we have like one shelf now to go and get milk, because I think milk's the only thing that we're out of. <sighs> These kids. We also had like six syrups. <laughs> like stop opening new ones. <gasps> there are these ones that have to be refrigerated. These cinnamon. Anyway, it's fine. And here's me trying to teach them when they're young. Frankie, come here. Look, come here. I gotta show you some, it's sticky now. Come on, mommy's gonna take your hand. Take your hand and walk you to the nest. Yeah, good job. So right here, this is where the floor is yucky and sticky now because you spilt your juice. So now you get to wipe it up. Clean it up. Good job. Yep. Yep, wipe, wipe that up. That's yucky. Clean it up. Okay, finished product. We have an empty shelf, a little bit of room. I could put this up here. It's usually where we could have a couple gallons of milk that fit there and an empty shelf. So we have three full meals for dinner in there though. So I usually cook, where'd you get this? Where'd you get this? I usually cook like five times a week because we go to Sunday dinner well, five to six, because honestly, sometimes we have Sunday dinner here and I end up cooking that day too, but the minimum I usually cook is like four. That's if we have like a couple parties that week and we go to Sunday dinner at Davy's mom's, but I love cooking for my family. It brings me a lot of joy and satisfaction and I know some moms are like, oh, I just can't do it. I hate it. We're out of time, but... Truth is, I just prioritize the time. I just make the time because I like doing it. It's something I enjoy. So it's easy to make the time because I enjoy it. If you didn't enjoy it, I can see why you wouldn't want to do that. I want to be, yeah, I'll do blue. Okay, we're gonna play life again. Amber really wants to. I want to go on the college path again. I'm gonna do college path too. Okay. Oh, someone just lost some money. I'm gonna trade this out for two of these. <laughs> Mama! Eb and Ender went to play at a friend's house. Just, I can see into their backyard. They're just playing at friends' houses. And then Daisy and Zade, Zade's at ballroom camp and then he, his mom, the kid that he was driving with just for carpool, he just texted and said, can he come to dinner with us? And I was like, yeah. So I just have two kids here. I have Frankie and Ambry. Everyone else is gone because Daisy's at girls' camp, Zade's with a friend, the other two are with friends. I'm gonna take advantage of this little bit because I'll probably have the little kids come home to eat dinner in the next few minutes, but I'm gonna make dinner while Ambry plays with Frank. And the house is much more presentable than it was. <laughs> it's, I would consider it clean. I still have mopping, sweeping, vacuuming, dusting, wiping windows. I mean, the list never ends, but I'm gonna stop all the cleaning and Amber's been convincing me to play games in between with her, but. All right, I'm fancy, so I used a paper plate, but it's all dished up. Everybody's eating food better today. I don't know why. He goes, Mommy, everyone ate their dinner really good today. It's because it was delicious. These are my two favorite perk chocolates. This one is probably my the best, best, best. <laughs> this one's close second. Okay, 13 years ago, when I was pregnant with Daisy, 
we it was our first house Davey convinced me that he wanted to buy a trike if you don't know what that is it's this he's maybe used it three or four times our entire marriage but look who's enjoying it now <laughs> He bought it 13 years ago for Ender. And he's over here honking the horn. <laughs> That's how I heard the horn honking and I was like, that sounds like the trike. Sure enough, we're getting our usage out of it now. Just took 13 years to make it worth it. <laughs> I also saw him with his ear up to the horn squeaking it in his ear really loud. I was like, That's a bad plan. <laughs> he's such a funny kid. I don't know if Davey's going to include it in the footage yesterday, but Ander fell and hit his head really hard while he was on the pogo stick. And we caught it on camera because we have some cameras out there. It's actually a really sad fail. He smacks his head, but he's fine. I mean, he seemed a little bit like he might have had a small concussion yesterday, but nothing like bad enough to even take him in because like they just observe and I know what they observed for and he never had any of the bad warning signs. He was just kind of like tired and said his head hurt a little bit, but he's fine today. He doesn't even notice it. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I have a very unique way. Oh, who am I kidding? It's not unique. I bet most moms clean like this. I'm gonna show you my technique to cleaning the house. Okay? It usually starts by me noticing something's really gross and needs to be done. For instance, the Mommy, dishes. What? You just like dumped me off the wheel car. You wanted a wiggle car and you just searched This is a perfect me example because I usually get distracted right as I'm about to clean that thing. So then I have to go deal with the kids. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Go play. Oh, why would that wiggle car? Okay, go so tell them that it's your turn. Playing on it. Hey, Andrew, it's her wiggle car. Her turn on that one. So then, I usually get distracted from that mess, and then I see something else that's messy that needs to be cleaned. So I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, the dishes, they need to be done, but ew, look how gross this oil is splattered all over here. So I'm gonna clean that. So then I go get the rag, and then I'm like, oh, that rag's really gross. So I better go put that in the laundry. Oh, I just started some laundry. So yeah, maybe I better just pause that. Yeah, and then I have to wait for it to unlock because I already started it. There we go. Okay. By now, I remember that I was gonna do the dishes. So that's what I go back to. Um, so then I can't really do the dishes until I empty the dishwasher. So I'm gonna just empty the dishwasher here. Okay, so. Then I realized this drawer is so full, I can't shut it, barely shut it. So like, oh my, oh man, I can't even open it now. I'm just gonna organize this drawer really fast because it's so bad. Oh, okay. So we're gonna organize this drawer. So mind you, like actually, nothing has actually been completed at this point. <laughs> but this is how it goes. This is how I clean my house. <laughs> and this just kind of continues until something gets completed. And eventually things, eventually things do sometimes get completed. But why do we have so many blender bottles? I'm just gonna put those together in the cupboard. So I'm gonna go and do that. Okay, so I organized the drawer decently. I mean, it's not perfect, but at least I can shut it now, right? I mean, it's looking much better. And now I remembered that I had this mess over here. I just need to get a new rag out. So I'm gonna do that, a nice clean one. But then I saw the sink and I remembered the dishes need to be done. So we're gonna go back to the dishes. We'll have the rag there for later. We'll, we'll use that rag in a minute. But first we're gonna do these dishes because I'm almost done. 
we just gotta get something finished. Oh wait, I forgot there's a whole other rack. It's fine. We're just gonna put those down. See, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh, like this one's really bad too. I need to work on this drawer real fast. See, like. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Perfect timing. This is like perfect timing. This is so real life. I'm like halfway done with the dishes and this little guy comes in right on cue and makes a huge mess. Yep, he found something to make a big mess with. He will probably take one bite and then drop it on the floor and I'll have to go and pick it up because the dogs are like poisonous. They can't eat grapes. So. But Frankie can eat grapes. Let's just see how many grapes he eats before he just spits it out. So we're gonna throw away all your babas, okay? Say bye bye, babas. And then that reminds me, I bought some tumblers over here. So I'll just walk away from that. I'll remember it later. It's fine. I hope none of you are getting frustrated that I'm not getting anything done for a while. Because I've been working for like, what, 40 minutes? I bought some new tumblers to replace the bottles that I just threw away. So I can put those in here. Now there's no room again. Then I realized that there's a big puddle of water right here from something that happened. So I'm just going to wipe that up. But I don't want to wipe it up with this because then that will have to get washed because it touched the floor. So I'm going to get a paper towel and wipe it up. Which reminds me, the whole floor needs to be swept and mopped. I'm going to get to that later. Okay, we're on day two of girls camp. We stopped off and got some lunch. We're going to a place called Cascade Springs. We're just gonna watch Daisy eat while we walk here. It's very Why? exciting. <laughs> JK. Um, we're in a part of Utah that I've never been. These, all these roads back here, I've never been back here. Cascade Springs though. Check it out. I bet it's gonna be beautimous. Um, yeah, new word. How's that uh, girls camp going? You having a good time? Mm -hmm. Drier today. It was very wet yesterday. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, I won't need a poncho. I'll be fine. Mm -mm. Wrong. Daisy's shoes were soaked. They drying off yet? Yeah, they're drying off. My feet were a little bit stinky last night because they were wet all day. You had sandals on, so you're probably dried out. So cool. Guys, I'm here with Daisy at Mutual Den. We've seen a, a bunny in the wild. Let's go check it out, see if we can get a little bit closer. Okay, here we go. Oh, good boy. Also, I ran out of diapers, so he's in sister's pull-ups. <laughs> okay, now we clean up the mess Nino made. And that reminds me, now that I have the rag in my hand, I need to clean up the stove. Cause remember how that was really gross? Okay. But you guys, I just just remembered that I pulled out a what? What do you want? I just remembered that I pulled all the laundry out of the dryer. And I was gonna fold it and then I got distracted. So I'm gonna head back over to there as soon as I'm done wiping this. And I realize I have to go put this away. Rank almost broke this camera today. Cause it was left by the computer. I should probably go fix the hot tub, but I, and I have to tell myself like, stop, you're cleaning right now. Don't get distracted by the hot tub. So I'll just put those aside. Then I see all this stuff in the cupboards. Then I'm like, oh, I better wipe down all the cupboards. High five! I just did your dishes. Why, thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Thanks for getting the milk. Put it in the fridge. Consider the dishes my payment for the milk. It's oh, fine. I paid you for the milk. Oh, that's okay. All right. The, no, no, right here, right here. The, the labor is the dishes. 
No, 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 I was just serving you. I can go there. Thank you, Zay. Look, I cleaned out oh, the fridge. It looks so nice. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, we got them honey sticks at Winco. Winco is crazy. You don't understand. You guys need to go to Winco right now. Not sponsored, but it's so cool. We have a Winco? Is it in Lena? It's like way, way far away. We drove for like 45 minutes, but it's so cool. Oh, did brother give you a sucker? Do the sucker dance. I make him make up dances. Nino, what's the sucker dance? Dance. <laughs> okay. He's the cutest baby. Okay, so now I'm remembering that I didn't do the laundry. See all this laundry? I don't like just leaving it up there. So I'm gonna put it away. They're all used up. So now I have to go find hangers. So I'm coming up here to look for hangers, and then I realize, oh my gosh, there's like, I don't keep that. There's none in here. Hurrah! Hi, birdies! Oh, but then I get distracted by the birdies. Hi, pretty birds. How about he's Perry? Oh, I love him. He's get him so out. Cute. Hold him. He's Pretty so to me cute. That he loves you. Oh, he does love yes. you. Yes, what a good bird. Oh. Hey. Well, I told him for two days, because Daisy was gone. Look, he's kissing you, saying, pretty bird. Pretty. Found some hangers. That's good. Halfway done with laundry, and he fell down. So I'm going to stop and give him loves, huh? Okay, go play. Oh, sticker on the arm. Now I got sticker on my arm. Stuck that sticker right on my hey, arm. Hey. Clean that off before I do anything else because that's really sticky and gross. All right, I finally finished laundry and now I'm really thirsty, so I'm gonna get me a drink. And then Amber's begging me to play another game of life. I'm gonna make but I don't get to play because Evie yep. just got out of a, a hot tub and wants me to help her shower. And then Frankie, I caught him with the camera and he threw it and I caught it right before it landed on the ground. Got Evie all ready. <laughs> got her shower. Now she's putting her jammies on. And now it's actually time to put Frank down. Okay, I got Frank down and then Evie said, Mom, please cut that watermelon. So I did, and then what did you say? I want milk in my watermelon. I have literally never heard of that. It sounds disgusting. Are you sure you want that? Yeah, just like, not all the pieces, because I might want to try it without any. Okay, here we go. Like cereal, like a bowl with... Watermelon and milk? Like. Okay. I'm actually very curious. Okay. Not bad, actually. Hmm, kind of good. Mm. You like it? Are you happy with your creation? In all fairness, this specific watermelon is like the best watermelon I've ever had. <laughs> so good, huh, guys? Yeah, I don't think anything could ruin this watermelon. Put whatever you want on it, it's delicious. Okay.